Hello and welcome everyone. Today we have a special, different, different type of video. We're going to talk about NFTs and something that is happening now on Polygon. This is probably the first video out there right now on One Planet and Polygon. They are an NFT marketplace that just migrated from Terra onto Polygon. They are incentivizing NFTs, they're making it cheaper, um, and they've got some amazing volume. They launched on Tuesday, and so far, it's been going great. So I'll be covering One Planet, I'll be covering the top collections on there and why you might be interested, um, but don't miss out here on The Burb Nest. Let's go. All right, welcome back. So, uh, One Planet, what is it? Well, it's an NFT marketplace now landing on Polygon. Wonderful. Uh, let's go over to their main page. They, of course, migrate, started on, on Terra. Terra collapsed. A lot of those NFT projects did not want to collapse, though. So, uh, One Planet has helped everyone migrate to Polygon. Uh, Polygon Studios has supported them with some great work. So actually, if you had any uh, NFTs on Terra, you can migrate them uh, to Polygon. You can get started. They actually reward you with some Matic tokens for migrating your NFTs. Um, and you can do that right here. So you go to get started, migration. It's a pretty straightforward process. And honestly, kudos to One Planet for this really great process on migrating your NFTs from Terra. So if you have NFTs on Terra, you can migrate them and you get two Matic uh, per NFT you migrate. So, hey, uh, who doesn't love free money? So back to One Planet, they are a marketplace. I think right now the only other big marketplace on Polygon is OpenSea. But as we know, OpenSea is pretty centralized. Um, One Planet doesn't yet have a token. They don't have anything like that. They're just a straight up marketplace. So we can see here the landing page. We can see the trending collections with the most volume. I'll be covering most of these top collections right now just to get understanding of who they are. You know, 25K. Uh, Matic volume since Tuesday when these collections launched is uh, pretty nice to see in uh, NFT place that has been struggling to say the least. So you can see, you can explore all the different collections. Um, they have some really big partners as well, Animoca Brands, Galaxy, Hashed. Um, so One Planet has been working pretty hard on this migration, on these next steps for NFTs, especially on Polygon. And why do we want to pay attention to NFTs on Polygon? Gaming. And that's the main thing. So I'll be covering some projects that are going to be doing some stuff in, when it comes to gaming on Polygon. But let's cover One Planet first. As we said, you can migrate your NFTs from Terra and get paid. Um, so you can get started, you can view your migratable NFTs, you migrate, you view results. It takes a little bit of time, um, but so far uh, it's been working great for anyone that needed to do that. Um, so you can go over here on their documents. They actually have a really nice document breakdown on what is a crypto wallet, how do I connect my wallet. So if you've never traded NFTs, I'll leave this document in the description. They have the frequently asked and the getting started and they have just a really nice breakdown on uh, what is a crypto wallet, what kind of wallets does One Planet support, guide to MetaMask, guide to using Polygon mainnet. Um, so kudos to One Planet. You can also follow them on Twitter. Um, but let's actually focus on some of the collections. Now that we understand where you're going to be trading these collections, the marketplace, of course, let's go over to the collection. So we got Derby Stars. Um, this was a really promising game on Terra that is now going to be on Polygon. Um, this is a type of racing game with, of course, horses, but you can actually breed these horses um, and there's going to be a lot happening. So this game has been in development for a long time, uh, introducing the new NFT game Derby Stars. So don't miss out on Derby Stars. You can still get some of the horses. Um, they are trading on one planet. So if we go over here, we can swoop down Derby Stars. Floor price is 
one uh, 240 Matic. That's actually really cheap considering back when they were on Terra, they were trading for around $600. So a lot of these collections lost a lot of value as everything else, but um, you know, there's still a lot that can happen, uh, especially with how much they've been building. So jumping back to their site, um, Derby Stars will provide a high quality player experience never seen before in an NFT game. Join and create so you can read more. Um, they have huge partners. They have Hashed, Galaxy, um, as we can see, a lot of Terra related backing, but um, Ryan Wyatt from Polygon Studios is also a backer as well as Sebastian Vergott from the Sandbox. So I, I wouldn't uh, fade this game. They did sell out all of their mints in the past. So definitely worth checking them out. Keeping up with the horses, players own a variety of NFT horses and race them in Derby Stars. Horses are a key element of the game and breeding them produce a variety of offspring. In addition, their pedigree and racing records are stored permanently on chain. You'll also be able to own, own land, you'll use an avatar. So a lot of this has been in development for a very long time and really all they had to do was go from what they were building on Terra on the Polygon. So um, this is a very, very interesting game. If you guys love play to earn, if you love all these games that are happening on the in the crypto space, don't miss out on Derby Stars. Um, you know, if you missed anything like Axie, Cravada, those type of huge games, Derby Stars is something that I'm keeping a very close eye on, especially considering how accessible it is at the moment. So going back to their collection, you know, for uh, 240 Matic um, for the horses to just be able to play um, is going to be, is just really accessible at the moment. So um, that was Derby Stars. Let's hop over because there's an, another game. If all any of you know Steppen, Tracer is claiming to be the most sustainable move to earn in Web3. So Tracer is the most sustainable Web3 wellness app with SocialFi and gaming, GameFi elements. You wear your unique 3D composable NFT shoes and you run to make handsome earnings. So running NFTs, you guys already know the deal, but they claim to be sustainable. So Tracer team believes that sustainability is the key to a successful move to earn. We make sustainable tokenomics by deflationary social games and composable 3D NFTs with both utility and artistic value. So they have a Tracer app. They have composable 3D NFT shoes. The first NFT-based move to earn on Near, though they've also launched on Polygon over here. So if we go back to One Planet, um, we can actually see Tracer shoe. Gen Zero. So this is the Genesis launch. Again, floor price is accessible if you compare it to something like Step In. They haven't opened up yet the boxes, the shoe boxes. So it's uh, worth kind of keeping an eye on. Again, all of these move to earn, play to earn type games. There's a lot I can do a uh, deep dive into. I want to keep this relatively short. If you guys have questions, if you guys want me to do a full video just explaining Tracer, let me know in the comments. I'm happy to kind of cater to everyone. Um, but Tracer is an interesting project. They have a lot going on with tokenomics. Again, a dual token system, um, minting mechanics, lucky box, move to earn. You know, if you already heard everything that happened with step in and all the move to earn it's a very similar situation on um, how the shoes and the moving can work um uh, running because actually step in made it kind of hard to run and earn here you can have something similar and well it looks like they have just launched again this week because one planet launched so a lot of these um collections have launched now i do want to cover some of the other big trending collections as well trippy wolves and hellcats slash hellhounds so let's go over to wrecked wolves wrecked wolves is an awesome collection they are on ethereum but they started of course on terra moved to ethereum using layer zero um layer zero is on the back end of 
the NFT collection. And now with Trippy Wolves, they have also made it layer zero interoperable. So what does this mean? Right now, layer zero is not active, but in the future, you could actually move these NFTs around or more importantly, use them in gaming and DeFi without needing to migrate the whole NFT. You can actually just enable layer zero communication on the NFT to interact with other protocols across different chains. So at the moment, uh, Wrecked Wolf is on Ethereum and you can get them on OpenSea, or you can get the Trippy Wolf collection, which is very accessible. They've had really big trading volume, 25K um, Matic in the past few days is pretty great. Um, and it's a fun collection as you can see. So um, using one planet is pretty straightforward. You can do from low to high, you can you know, manage as you would with any NFT marketplace and kind of cater to what you're looking for. Um, so uh, Wrecked Wolf is definitely a collection. Um, it's all about educating. So the story began on Terra blockchain back in March. Uh, in May, it collapsed, of course, and everyone was wrecked. So um, Wrecked Wolf is all about educating and not exactly an alpha channel, but they're all about um, helping people to not get wrecked. Um, so the team is great, of course. You guys can join the Discord, the Twitter, um, to check out this collection that has been working really hard um, with all of these collections after a collapse, a major collapse like the one on Terra. If you see teams that are continuing to build like Wrecked Wolf, like Derby Stars, um, like One Planet, um, that kind of shows the commitment of those teams that are trying to continue with what they're doing and with their vision, regardless of what chain or what uh, problems they might encounter. So finally, I do wanna cover Hellcats, which was the second biggest collection right now on one planet with, uh, they actually have two collections. So they have Hellcats and Hellhounds. They have had very decent trading volume as we can see here. Um, so Trippy Wolves right now seems to be the biggest volume. So usually you want to see volume in a collection because that means it's getting traded a lot. And that means that the collection has more liquidity. Uh, so when you're trading NFTs, you want to see that more volume, more liquidity, more uh, hands are exchanging the NFTs so that it's easier to buy and sell these said NFTs. So Hellcats is a collection that started on Terra as well. They have digital, they do poker games, they do different types of uh, fun events. They have a physical uh, world and lore. They're making some comics as well. So uh, definitely check them out. You can have staking. It's a team that has been working really hard. You know, the, their website is nice, the clubhouse. Um, they have a whole lore around the Hellcats and the Hellhounds. Um, so definitely look into these projects, Wrecked Wolf, uh, Derby Stars, Tracer. I'll leave all of these links in the description. Um, but again, uh, if you missed NFTs on Ethereum, uh, Polygon is going to be centered around gaming NFTs. I mentioned two games on one planet uh, already, Derby Stars and Tracer. Don't miss out on the play to earn and the games right now is when you want to look for these projects that have continued to build regardless of the problems they have encountered because those are the projects that will survive moving on uh, if we ever go back to a new bull market. If we stay in a bear market forever, then maybe these projects will have a harder time, but uh, then that just falls into a whole another uh, issue of problems. So, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Check out these collections. Uh, they've been working really hard. Uh, I'll leave all the links in the description. If you guys enjoyed this content, I've shared a lot more content in the Burb Nest YouTube. I've talked about GMX. I've talked about a lot of other projects. Um, of course, don't miss out. Get the link to our the Burb Nest Discord. We can educate everyone. We are all about helping you trade and not lose during this bear market. So definitely check the bird nest out and I'll catch you guys on the next video. Take care. Peace.